what's going on guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy Jim graphics in today's video um, we'll be looking at the difference between um, color draw and Photoshop oftentimes I get this comment or on my DM you guys come to ask me why I use color draw or do I use color draw for my designs yes I'm a color draw user I use color draw for all my designs and sometimes I use Photoshop for some basic things which I've shown you guys on this channel so in this video I'm going to clear you guys on some basic things which you are you guys supposed to know about color draw and the difference between color draw and Photoshop all right so because I, I kind of come across in some groups of um, graphic designers so designers be like okay um, this is better this is better to use and this is better to use or color draw is better than photoshop or photoshop is better than color draw all right so now if you come to this which i've um i've write out for you guys so we're going to go through this so this is color draw guys i'm going to tell you what color draw is basically used for all right and um, what you can achieve with it and what you can achieve with photoshop all right so now um color draw is actually um is one of the image editing program in the color draw graphic suit all right so it's actually created by um, Cor um corel corporation okay so if you come to um photoshop photoshop is a widely used um photo editing and manipula uh, manipulation software all right why am i saying this um photoshop is basically like it's written here widely used for photo editing and photo manipulation all right each of these softwares have their own value and they have their own role to play all right because like i said sometimes if i'm working in color draw or if i'm working in photoshop or if i'm working on, uh, on a, pro a particular um project or a design i always tell you guys get photoshop and if you look closely you you find out that sometimes we make use of um, Photoshop in some of the design we use like in, in times of um, mockups um, text effects and uh, not that you can do text effects but there are downloaded text effects that are mostly done in um, Photoshop so I always tell you guys to download Photoshop for uh, on, for your designs and you know that will actually help you guys on, on your design career so Photoshop like I told you guys is basically for editing pictures or images and photo manipulation all right it is mostly used by um, photographers all right photographers okay so i believe you're getting the point of what i'm saying all right if you come to Corel draw guys it's more of a vector based program all right Corel draw is a vector based program meaning it creates artwork using mathematical equation all right which um i don't think it's uh, it applies to of um, photoshop color draw is a vector based all right is a vector based while um photoshop um is a raster pixel based program all right so um which is also used for vector based graphics yes it's also used for vector based graphics all right so um if you come to um Corel draw Corel draw it doesn't or it does not understand the idea of pixels it's only convert images to form vectored file do you understand Corel draw is more of um, let's say um illustrator it's more of a vector just like illustrator illustrator is is also an adobe program you understand it's an adobe program but if you look if you look at it it has um it has okay if you come to add, um, adobe programs who have um, photoshop photo paint um, sorry photoshop photo um adobe illustrator we have lightroom we have adobe premiere pro we have Adobe, uh, Adobe After Effects. These are the programs attached to Photoshop. All right, but if you come to CorelDRAW, we have Photo Paint, we have Photo Trace. I think 
or image trace something like that uh, i think yeah something like that that's same thing applicable to corridor corridor also have his own um programs not just corridor all right that's why if you if you're installing your corridor you see photo paints you see corridor trace you see a lot of them there so all of them have their own function all right it's just left for you to know which and which to use at the appropriate time do you understand it's just a, um like one of this um this graphic designer he owns a youtube channel also all right he also makes use of photoshop he's a photoshop user but at some point he if he's trying to um um let me say if he's trying to um um let's say make use of some vector images like um illustrate some things he goes straight to um adobe illustrator to illustrate so once he's done illustrating he takes it back to photoshop to continue his design do you understand you cannot illustrate using photoshop but you can illustrate using corel draw or um, adobe uh, adobe um, illustrator do you understand now if you come to photoshop it works on pixels of an image layer by layers for details manipulation of images like i told you guys is more of um photo editing and um photo manipulation all right not that you cannot create um basic designs like business card um um banners posters you can also do that in photoshop but we're coming to that guys all right we're coming to that so um if you come to um corel draw corel draw it's mainly used for vector like we said earlier and illustration if you look closely i highlighted it here illustrations all right and for creating logos and others all right you can create logos in photoshop okay you can create logos in photoshop but it's not vectorized you can you can you can you can get vectors using photoshop all right can make use of it in photoshop so if you come to photoshop um photoshop is mainly used for editing and manipulating like we said earlier and to apply special effects to digital images or right, like if you for me if i'm designing if i'm done in photoshop in corel draw if i'm done with my project sometimes i take it to photoshop to apply some basic effect like um um levels um brightness contrast you know um light effects certain things like i do them in photoshop all right so these are just the basic difference between photoshop and um corel draw there are more out there you can actually research and um, understand these programs all right so now um in summary all right in a nutshell what like in everything we've said here the main difference between the two programs is the technology on which they are based upon right photoshop is an excellent program mainly used for creating images photo editing and graphic design or add special effects images all right so um photoshop is pixel based like we said earlier why corel draw is mainly used for vector based graphics all right and it's a lot like adobe illustrator like i told you guys in the beginning all right what um photo, uh, corel draw can do illustrator does it some things illustrator does corel draw can do it do you understand you know there are basic there are effects in photoshop which i don't think is here but if you look um if you look at um corel paints corel paints has some features which um photoshop has but we've not like go deep into this into these softwares like this softwares all corel draw software um, programs and photoshop they are all wild do you understand they are broad like you can never know it all that's just the truth you can never know it all do you understand you can never know it all this brings me to the question why are we fighting or disputing over softwares why are we actually saying this software is better than this 
CorelDRAW is better than Photoshop or Photoshop is better than CorelDRAW and why are we seeing ourselves as if we are you're seeing a Photoshop user as the pro while a CorelDRAW user as a less graphic designer who doesn't know what he's doing all right like currently I I noticed that there are designers who do amazing design using Canva some designers laugh at them but it's not worth laughing at because I've seen great designs there's, there's this lady I'm following on, on Facebook she's also a follower on, in, um, on my channel here and we are friends on Facebook she uses Canva to design she's not used to Photoshop or CorelDRAW she uses Canva to, for all her design but all the designs she posted on Facebook they are all amazing like I fall in love with her design but she uses Canva now does that make her a less graphic designer or does, does that make her not know what she's doing or she doesn't like she or should I say she's not a graphic designer she's a graphic designer now let me shock you guys graphic design is is wide and don't don't believe you know it all I don't know it all you might be using Photoshop and it's working for you good another person is using CorelDRAW another person is using Canva another person is using Illustrator to design that is awesome but the question you ask yourself is what output are you giving out what results are you giving out with all these softwares that are made available for you to use okay you have Photoshop installed on your system yes you have CorelDRAW installed on your system yes but what can you do with this software? What can you create with this software? These are the questions you should ask yourself and this is why you should work on yourself and not work on the software. You don't own the software. You own your brain, you own your creative life, you own your creativity. So work on your creativity and stop disputing which software is better than this or which software is better than this and i'm not like saying go and use photoshop is better i'm not saying like like i told you guys i i don't fight over it i use the one that works for me i'm a color draw user i've i've worked with color draw for eight good years if i'm not mistaken eight years all right most of my jobs are out there which I believe some of you might have seen some of them, but you know, giving good jobs doesn't require the software. Designing good jobs. The question you should ask yourself is who is behind the software? All right, I'm giving a software to design a flyer, and um, I'm so I I I I design with Photoshop and design rubbish while somebody uses um, um, CorelDRAW to design something unique or I'm a CorelDRAW user and they give me a flyer to design and I don't understand the concepts I don't understand um, the, the job description I don't understand what to do I'm just a, a graphic designer and I'm called a CorelDRAW user is that what you fight over? You should fight over working on yourself and not the software all right now you can actually learn this software it's not bad knowing CorelDRAW it's not bad knowing um, Photoshop it's not bad knowing all these softwares to yourself because you might need them not you might you would definitely need them because you might be working in CorelDRAW and one or two you need to do some certain things which requires Photoshop you have to go to Photoshop and do it you might be working in Photoshop and it requires you to make use of CorelDRAW or Illustrator based on is a vector software and Photoshop is not you have to make use of Photoshop I am sorry Illustrator or CorelDRAW 
graphic design is a wild like it's very broad do you understand like to me i see people who does there are basic people who don't even do who, de, who don't design logos they don't design logos you can contact them and be like hey hello um i'm so 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 and so i want to design a logo for my brand and they will tell you they are not a logo designer it might shock you anyway but we kind of want to do everything do you understand we want to do everything which is not right get a particular thing and master and be a master of it which will fetch you money there are people who don't design flyer there are people who are just basically specified they are specializing in flyer design call them for business card they won't do it you understand anyway i'm going out of the topic which we're discussing today but the thing is just master your skill master your concepts master your creativity and you know develop your skills not the software because you can know the software and still don't know how to design there's a difference between knowing the software and knowing how to design like all this stuff people nobody can teach you how to design nobody is there's no school for it you understand there's no school for it unless if there is anyway which i don't know i'm open i'm also open to learning but creativity uh is not taught it's in you it's imbued so you have to develop it they understand so it's not all about the software it's all about you who is behind the software you can open a corridor draw and the corridor draw will not design itself the tools are there for you all the tools are there for you but how do you make use of these tools you just like cooking and you have all the spices you have the maggi you have the salt you have the this and you're cooking um okay you're cooking in a spark and you, you you don't know which which spice to go with the spaghetti you're, you're cooking so how do you expect it to be um tasty how do you expect it to be yummy so work on yourself work on the skill not the software all right so this is the the this is the topic i actually want to discuss with you guys if you have any question you can drop me a comment in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up invite your friend you can join my join my telegram channel all right so i'm going to put the link in the down description below and see you guys in my next video